talk about the test. Okay. So test tomorrow. Um, it is. It looks like everybody's here today. This is nice. Welcome. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's start with the test is worth sixty-one points. Uh, there are fourteen matching. You don't like matching? Oh, there's always one extra. Uh, uh, <laughs> always one extra. <laughs> see, see how well you know. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't do open note and we don't do retakes. All right. Now, listen. Wait, how many matches? 14. Now, 11 of the 14 are names, people. Okay. And generally, from every test forward, my matching is people. Okay. So I'll give you a little biography and you match that with the name. Okay. Now there's three terms on here or other things. Um, but normally I won't put those in the matching, but they are today. Okay. Uh, so there's that. There are eight multiple choice. This is actually a pretty big number for me. That'll shrink. <laughs> Multiple choice questions. What I do like is fill in the blank questions. Now, there's only three of those. That number, that number will grow. I'm going, I'm going easy on you here. Well, kind of. True and false. Ten. True and false. Now, these are worth one point each. You do not have to correct them. Okay, the directions say correct them, but on this test, you do not have to. <laughs> Sometimes one word can do it. Okay. Um, all right, and here's where the fun begins. Okay, so right there is 35 objective questions. Okay, the test was 61, so you know it's coming. Okay, so, all right, I have two Long answers worth four points. Two long answers worth three points. One long answer worth five points. And one long answer worth six points. Which you know what that one is. From yesterday, right? Causes. And how many do you need to know? What do you, do you need it repeated? Yes. Yeah, the long answer for long Which one? There's like four of them. There's four with two. Two worth. Sorry, sorry. No, stop. 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 <laughs> now you're screwing me up. Two worth four, two worth three, one worth five, one worth six. And one worth five is like a three part question. So you're going to want to answer all three parts of the question. And then on the four pointers, guys, you can explain these probably in three to four sentences. Okay. The three pointers you can probably answer in three to four sentences. Okay. Um, two to three sentences, maybe. Uh, and then the six pointer, you know what's going on there. Okay. So um, it's not a massive amount of writing, but there is some writing in it. Okay. And I gave you some tips during the lectures on what you might be expected to write about. And also, there's some hints at the bottom of your review sheet. Okay. Now, these are not actually IDs. These are questions. So, on some tests, I'll have some IDs where you just got to tell me who, what, where, when, how, why. Okay. Uh, but these are actual questions. Okay. Um, 
One name that's on your review sheet I did not mention in class, and he is behind me. His name is John Garner. Anybody look him up yet? Okay. John Garner was Roosevelt's first vice president. FDR is our next president in 1932. He's elected. Okay. Now, those of you who don't know, Roosevelt's elected four times. Okay. He's going to have three different vice presidents. Garner will be his first. Now, Roosevelt's from New York. So some would assume he might have trouble finding votes or getting votes where? In the South, okay, or Southwest. Um, so John Garner is a cowboy boot wearing, cowboy hat wearing, Texan, okay? He's going to help Roosevelt win in a landslide because Hoover has no chance, so... Uh, Garner said this is the vice presidency. He said the vice presidency isn't worth a warm pitcher of spit. So Roosevelt found a new one in his second term. Garner would only be VP for one term. Okay. Uh, Al Smith, he wasn't in the notes, but I mentioned him. 1928 ran against Hoover. He's the first Catholic. I was a Democrat from New York. He lost in 28. So when Roosevelt from New York ran in 32, he was careful about who he chose as his running mate. Good? Okay. Um, so tomorrow when you come in, um, I will hand you a test. You will write on the test. Uh, you'll need a blank sheet of paper. Uh, for your long answers, you'll write the other part on the test. Okay? There's not room for your long answers on the test, so don't try. Okay. Good? And we'll get started right away, okay? Because, you know, we'll be crunched for time a little bit tomorrow. Okay, so come in ready to go. Good? All right. You guys have the rest of the hour to study.